hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn how to use variable in sql server 2022 i will be giving you the multiple example to understand well how to use the variables in sql so let's get started with this video so here is the content to understand the variable what is the variable and what is the syntax and understand the set at the rate local variable and select the at the rate local variable and declare at the rate local variable and finally we'll move it to the our practical lab so now here to understand the variable so to declare a variable your name should be starting with the at the rate so your name should have the first value at the rate in the sql assigning a system supplied or the user defined data type in the length so you should be assign a d uh, variable with the length or the data type what type of data type you are providing inside a variable so it can be example i can write it here declare at the rate my counter is a int value or you can write a multiple you can do the multiple declare like uh, at the rate the first name so that will be in a uh, and which are 30 and uh, the first name and which are in a 20 or the at the rate state provider is a two so these are the like a data type value if you have not watched my the data type value video so you can go the, to the playlist search that video and watch it that so you can easily understand what's the data type is used in the sql server now let's move it to the first example print the variable initi uh, initializing by the using set so how you can write uh, the declare value and how you can set uh, the value for the, your declaration so declare at the rate my war uh, uh, this is a character value is a 20 so i can write it down anything inside with the 20 characters so i declare this value i declare this name and i set the value under my declaration so that is a uh, my war it say this is a test and I select when I select and write it down at the rate my war, then it will print the value stored inside my war version. Now, here is a, another example use a local variable assigned by a value by using the set and the select statement. So, here I used my the SQL table query. Here I declare the at the rate state, uh, state and the character value is 25. And inside that, I use a state. Uh, the value is a HR. I can use it a uh, the below value also three four fives or anything whatever you feel you can give the character inside the value. So I put it the maximum twenty five. Now here is my the query. How we write it down? This is the trim first value and the first name and the last name. It will club together and it will make a column that is a call name called as a name. Now it's a department. The next column office location is the next column and it's a, uh, from the employee. And now where I'm going to use this declare I'm using inside the where condition. So where condition department is equal to state. So if I have the value inside the department, what I'm describe or set it value inside the state equal to HR, then it will filter the data. So that's how the declare value is working or the variable is working here. Now let's take a next example use a compound assignment for a local variable. So this is the two example I have given here either you can write it down the query like this or like this. So what is the difference in both the query? So in the declare new balance is a int and I write it here declare new balance int equal to 10. So first line I write it down here the, the declare new balance is a int and then I am setting the value for the 10. So instead of writing two things, I can write it down complete sentence here. Declare new valence int equal to the 10. So that's the sentence is over. And the next sentence is here set the new balance is equal to what the new balance value multiply 10. So finally your new balance value will be 100. And what the write it down here set new balance star equal to and that's the this is the query and this is the query both the query are having the same output so i given the differentiate how you can write it down your the declare or set the value now let's move it to now let's take the another example what if we are pulling the data or taking the data from the variable from the query and setting inside the variable 
so this is the example here how you can take the data from a query and set into the variable so declare is a uh, rows is a in int that will be a count something a number one two three four five and i write it down a query the select count from the employee and it's the rows and now here is a one more example how you can use uh, your um, uh, your set or the variable inside a filter so this is the query what i chose now let's move it to the uh, sql server and i can show you the practical how you can write your uh, the sql query and declare your variable and set the value okay so let me start it from here i'm going to use a declare command de okay so de c l a r e declare what i'm going to define here here it's like at the rate my and uh, what is the character value here i'm going to put it like a 20 and comma and now set the value at the rate my is equal to and i can write it down anything with the 20 characters so this is a is a my so this is a test it's a my sorry and now when i define the value inside the my at this is my the uh, declare this is my the variable at the rate my and i declare this at the rate my character value is the 20 and what i'm going to do i set the value for my and i mention it this is a this is a testing and now how can i print that value so this is a uh, here select at the rate my so what will happen when i am executing this query it will print the value what i set it inside at the rate my so let's execute this query now so i get the data this is a this is a text or if you want to mention the column name you can mention it here like a data or the detail or anything and now here the column name will be changed so that's how you can define your the declare the variable and set the value so let's go for the example uh, where i am using my the test lab uh, test lab table and from there i will be pulling the data so let's do it select start from uh, employee okay so this is a where it is employee and let's execute this and now i'm going to bring some column from here this is like a uh, the first name comma last name comma this can be a department and uh, then the office location or double f i c e of its location so this is my the sql query what i'm going to use inside this query i'm i'm going to define the declare and set the value so let's execute this and let me make it something more complicated instead of writing the two names here i want to be just only the name how i can do that so just remove this first and second value just put it the plus sign and mention as this is a name so what will happen that will add your both the name and it will make it a one table that is called a name so two name is uh, make it but there is a no space in between so what i'm going to do let me add this space here and now my this query is having the space so output is having the space in between the first name and the last name if you want to make it something more clear the data so you can use the trim command r t r i m trim and make it this use this and then use the rtrim trim and now this will be a perfect query okay so i got the query but this is not a declare let me define the data okay so what i'm going to do let me complete this query the from uh okay where let me put the where condition where the department is equal to let's see let's take a value for the hr and execute this query so now here i filter it down the 
HR department. I don't want to mention this HR department. Suppose I'm writing a very big query and every time I'm using the where, 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 where condition. And every time I don't want to write it down this part. What I can do, I can declare this part in my the query. So how can I do that? So let's see this declare T-E-C-L-A-R-E declare and at the rate I am putting a state and what is the state? A state value will be to, 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 to like a I can say the character C-H-E-R character and just can say the 10 so maximum the 10 value it can be enter and then set at the rate state is equal to and this is a HR and put it here a comma and let's execute this and now it's time to remove this part and use what the declare value we are using here so you can use the declare value and the output will be seen so instead of writing a where condition is equal to uh, the value you can take it the value from here or you can write it down the your complete query as i shows you before uh, two three minutes back how you can pull the data from the query you can write it down the any query here and the data is coming from that query that can used inside here so you no need to write it down again the one more uh, the inside query or the sub query in your the main query so you can take it the value from the declare and that's how you can use it or if you want to use the n value here that will be a more precise and then you can use it so now you are getting the exact data what you are looking so just i write it down this is not at all required because to make it just something complicated that's all so thank you guys for watching this video see you soon in my next video with some of the logic about the sql server thank you